it's me Evie and I am starting this vlog um what was this what 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 was this I'm starting this vlog and it's around two o'clock um I worked from bed this morning and then I got up and I filmed a little skin ritual which was all boxy I started with my toner it's 111 skin and I love this toner. It just, it does a good job. And then I have this serum that I just got in the boxy um, this month. It's called the Nuco, the Peel All-in-One Serum. And then I went in with the Rien Brightening Dark Circle. And then I went in with my favorite from boxy product almost ever it's from Kate Somerville and it is a moisturizer and then I went in with went in with lawless forget the filler it is plumping smoothing and nutritious does my lips look nutritious I don't know um, yeah I'm about to change this shirt though because I do not like the the hugginess of the neckline it just bothers me and i need to get some work done today and mainly to motivate me to get things done that i've really needed to get done and stop procrastinating on so i'm just putting my products away ish away ish i have to like I have too much stuff on my desk and it really bothers me so um yeah I'm gonna be working on my bedroom because this bedroom needs to be a bedroom of peace and not clutter so I want to be working on that I have clothes to fold a bed to make shirt to change I took my medicine I think that might be all. <sighs> yeah. And I need to clean up this area a little more, organize it. I think I'm going to be moving my, this dresser that I have on the side. I'll show you. So I think I'm going to be moving this back downstairs. Because God knows we need storage <laughs> to hide all the things I don't want sitting out. Um, and I have a plastic white thing that match, you know, that goes more with the white motif of my setup. And yeah, so I might be getting that ready to change around. So yeah, I'm tired. Can I just go back to bed? I know the lighting is terrible right now, but uh, I don't have the windows open yet. I need to do that. <clears throat> and you're going to have to forgive me because if I talk to you, I'm probably going to keep losing my voice. This, I've been drinking orange juice out of this. And, okay. It's empty now. I spilled it all the time it is non-leak so if y'all have one that's like a slider top like this that does not leak let me know in the comments okay so right now i have to turn this off and i've got to send jeremy my target order and then i'll be back
Okay, so I changed shirts. This one is much more appropriate for the neckline. The yellow one was a Lane Bryant t-shirt, and this is a Torrid. I much prefer these necklines to those that I had on before. I don't like anything really tight on my neck. So yeah. Um, this is my project. I need to get these clothes put up. Well, folded and put up. Jeremy's a sweetie bear and he did the laundry. But, um, it's, if I'm honest, like one of these stacks have been here or like one of these baskets have been here. And I'm pretty sure there's somewhere else clothes that are needing to be folded because he washed this weekend. <clears throat> we wash pretty much every weekend. I need to get my pillows off the floor first. This set of dresser drawers is mine. And if I just sit here while I'm folding, it's much easier for me to put up. My bra drawer is the least open drawer probably. I try to wear things that I don't have to wear bras unless I'm going out. I always wear bras if I go out. I'm very flat if I don't. My leg brace, I've been wearing it at night on my worst leg. Sometimes the, the this is just too much for both of the legs. I get very over anxious but we recently solved one of the problems where my leg is big and overlaps my knee we just put this that was for the other leg actually um, at the bottom to make it bigger so my leg would so the so the brace would stay up so we just take this like this and put the straps that go in that area through it and this kind of goes under the excess that lays over my knee and it helps me be able to stand in my brace because otherwise it would really not be comfortable. We just, I think that's what you have to do. Like you take what they tell you in stride and then make it for yourself how it works. I think we know our bodies than, you know, the doctor does. Or... I read a fact the other day. It said something about you only wear like 20% of your wardrobe and 80% just sits there. I wonder how true that is for me. I think maybe it's very true actually. Um, I didn't know, I thought this shirt got ruined, but it doesn't look ruined. <clears throat> I thought this shirt had got ruined, but I guess it did not. It looks good to me. That's good, because I love this shirt. I love wearing it under these overalls actually the t-shirt drawer yes I have to have a whole entire drawer just to load it to t-shirts And honestly, even winter and summer, these um, sweatshirts that come off my shoulder on one side, these are my most worn tops. They're just comfortable. They keep me warm, but not too warm. 
I like them. I need to get some new ones. These are like wearing out. <clears throat> My uh, allergies or asthma or something. It's really been acting up the last few days. How do you guys fold your leggings? I do this number so it's just straight and then fold it in half and then I do this. Sometimes when Jeremy gets me clothes out, my, my drawer gets a little disorganized. But hey, he's doing it, so I can't complain, right? So this is my multi my multi drawer, my miscellaneous drawer, and it's my most used drawer. But right now it's an absolute mess. So we gotta figure this out. It's a sleep shirt. I was wondering where that shirt went. Okay. So now, nightgowns I like to keep on that side and everything else on this side. I don't know how it gets so messed up all the time. I love this. It's one of my favorite nightgowns. I don't really wear sleeping clothes anymore though, except when the boys are here. So I don't really feel the need so much to look for like I want cute sleepwear obviously because it makes you feel good to wear cute sleepwear but I don't wear it enough so I feel like I have way too much sleepwear but like I don't want to get rid of it because like it's cute here's my friend's set I know I don't drink coffee, but it's friends, people. I love friends. And these, this winter, have been oh, so good. I got one of these. Where's this one from? This one's Torrid. I kind of want to, like, start, like, third button down and sew it shut just so the buttons don't like open but then i'm like what if i don't want it to be buttoned so anyway or if what if i get sick and have to go in the hospital i would need something that had buttons on it so but anyway this winter this has had been so good to have i have another one it's red um yeah these are my like you know my sexy time nightgowns i have a red one and a black one um not sure where i got these i have to look here in a minute Where did I get it? I got these at Avenue. For some reason, the Avenue night clothes fit me where most of the time the clothes at Avenue do not fit me currently. Currently. 
these are the cutest pair of pajamas can you see that it's got like isn't that adorable these i've never tried these on actually but i'm sure they fit they're 38 40. they should fit i'll probably try them on this weekend It has a shirt to match that's buttoned up. I really like it. Um, this is just a t-shirt. When I wear shorts sometimes for um, night. And this is my most holy stained pair of pants I own. But for some reason, I just can't get rid of them. They're so comfortable. And these are just shorts that I wear under dresses. At least they're still folded. And this is a dress. So I'm not sure why it was in there to begin with. Ah, oh, here's my one from Amazon. And it's just like the black one, except way less expensive. Although I think I got the black one on sale, so. I mean, I know I did, because I don't buy anything that's not on sale. I think the only thing I've bought not on sale in the last four years was that Betsy Johnson cup bracelet and that was just a fail and Tori did send me a new one but the new one didn't stay clasped either so it was like a waste of time and energy and money because hello it still can't be war Was very frustrating. I loved that cup bracelet. It's not called a cup, is it? What is it called? I, hmm. I can't think of what it's called. It's a pretty day outside, even though it's a little overcast. It's so much better than what it's been being. I know that as my viewers, if you've been watching over the last, what has it been, almost four years, you've seen me gradually get larger and larger. Um, it's not an elephant in the room, ha ha ha. It's just what it is. I know I've gotten bigger, you know I've gotten bigger, hasn't changed is I'm basically wearing the same sizes ish if you want to say it like that I um, when I moved here a lot of my clothes were five X's and I've gone up to a six like I'm a solid six usually unless um, it's stretchy and I can wear fives but uh I am fully in a six 30 these these right here are 38 40s and actually they're too big most everywhere but in the length because these are actually better than the other pair that I have but I'm so upper body long and now also that I have a tummy as well, I just, I have a really bad problem finding things like jumpers, which if I'm honest, I would wear a jumper all the time because of the simple fact it's just comfortable. This is from um, Universal Standard. This is what I'm folding. And I love this so much. Like, I live in this thing. I wear it every time it's clean. It's what I go for. 
I can put on a sweater with it or I can just wear it the way it is and I just feel nice in it. I love the overalls. They're also universal standard. Um, I have some jeans from there, but the waist is like a little bit too big. And so it gets annoying trying to like fix, pull them up all the time. But um, yeah, that's the, that is the, that is like the bad thing, I guess you could say about being my size and the size that I was when I moved here, it's like, you can change so much. Like, I'm gained over 100 pounds, but people are, it was just until recently, people started saying, oh, you've gained weight, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, where have you been? I've been gaining weight for the last two years. COVID really did a number to me. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was really, really lonely right before COVID hit because I missed my friends. I missed my, my ex's family. I guess even I miss my ex. You know, when you get divorced, you go through that period. But, um, I also wasn't used to being able to eat what I wanted when I wanted it. And Jeremy liked giving me surprises and making me smile and taking, getting me out on dates. You know, so it was like just a time for me. And I did end up gaining weight. But I somehow I got my confidence back in that period. And even though I'm bigger now, my confidence is still pretty high. It's just I am I'm tired all the time. And I have to sit down to do the simplest chores. Jeremy does a lot for me. I don't go out. And I'm trying so hard to get back to a place where I am mobile again. Some days, it's just too much to fold clothes. I'll be honest. But some days, like today, I had this burst of energy. And I'm silly like this, but... I get excited about cleaning so it was like at first it was hard for me to fall asleep last night because I had made plans today to clean up so I was just like all over the place in my head before I went to sleep so that was part of like my my burst of energy to do these things was like I was excited about it oh, and I want to talk about this sweatshirt just for a moment I get ask about it all the time because it's super big on me but it's so warm and so comfortable it is an 8xl big from king size so if you're on my size and you want a very large oversized sweatshirt that is your best bet i love this sweatshirt so much this is something else that i wear all the time I think this basket is like seen its last days. It's so broken. But back to my size. Um, I've been trying to work my upper body with like weights and just stretches and stuff because a lot of it for me is building my heart to back up to where I can do things and um, so that's the way I started the first time I will gradually move into doing more yoga I have ordered the bigger yoga yoga ball because I had ordered the short one because of my legs being so short 
I just assumed that I would need the little one. It turns out, while the little one is good for doing squats, it is not good for anything else except sitting. Like I said, I ordered the larger ball, the biggest one. Watch me end up having to order the medium one as well. That would be my look. Um, and I'm hoping that I can sit on the larger one and do the exercises with like um, the exercise ball exercises that you can find on the internet feeling better from that then I hope to move on to walking and I have walking tapes that I can safely do inside I'm probably gonna have to buy a yoga mat to do that on though to do a lot of walking but I have I have a good ways before I can do walking videos I wish I could just like snap my fingers and do them but I know it takes time and no, I'm not doing a diet or anything like that. I am just simply trying to cut down and eat appropriate things instead of just indulging in sugar all the time. Here's that shirt that went with the pajamas. Ugh. The only thing I hate about it getting warmer is shaving my legs. I literally probably shave my legs like three times this old tire winter. Jeremy's like, I mean, you can't see it, Evie. He's like, and it's soft when you touch it, so it doesn't really matter to me. I'm like, oh, free get out of jail free card. Oh, I love this jacket so much. It reminds me of the last jean jacket my grandpa had I was so happy that it fit oh my god <sighs> I actually have a jean blanket that my step grandmother had made for me and it's made out of all my grandpa's blue jeans I don't take it out a lot because it's it's painful if you want them to know. I really miss my grandpa. I really wish Jeremy could have known my grandpa. Oh, I need to do something for Instagram with this shirt to leave it out. I think Jeremy might have taken all his clothes out of here and done them. I don't, I haven't come across his club. <clears throat> I really, really, really hope that I can get to be walking sooner than later because I have an appointment next month. I know that's stupid to think that I can get from where I am right the second to where I need to be by then. But even a little bit better would be good because I really want to go to that appointment. This is my favorite shirt. Oh, I love this shirt so much. If you're wondering, I get all my underwear at Avenue. You guys should have seen how much I bought when we thought they were going to go out of business for good. Oh, we bought so many. And it's not that I, okay, so I'm going to say this, and it's going to sound, it's going to sound some sort of way, but there's people that sell on Poshmark, plus size creators, and they can't even list their clothing until before somebody buys it. And... 
there's me. And I list my things and they sit there and I sit there and I sit there. And like all my prices are so low right now. I'm like not even making a big profit. I'm basically giving things away. And nobody wants to buy them. And it's like, I just really want somebody that needs clothes to have the opportunity to have them. And all my clothes are practically brand new. I don't wear my clothes a lot, if that makes sense. Like, I will wear something I love over and over again, but then there's just the stuff that I like that I don't wear a lot. And I even have stuff on there with tags on them. I'm just People don't wanna buy my stuff. And I'm like, every day somebody tells me that they like my style or this or that, but yet here I have a Poshmark and nobody will pay for the things that I have there. It's, it's distressing. I'm like, is it even worth listing all the other stuff that I have to sell? Because it's like, nobody's going to buy it. I don't know. I'm having a hard time dealing with that. I don't make income yet. Like, I've made a few good deal. Or like, I've had a few good brand transactions. But, I don't get, I can't support myself with what I make or what I've made. I'm not making anything at the moment. It's kind of like my Monet. Like, okay, so the number one thing I always get is MLM. Well, it's not, but it is. And I know the people that sell it is gonna be mad at me for saying this. And the people that I ask to buy stuff will be on the other side of it. So it, no matter what, I'm gonna make somebody mad. But I seriously love Monet. My, I mean, okay, my hair looks really bad today, but it's not because of the shampoo. Um, it has changed my hair. Like, I had no hair. My hair was so thin. It was getting thinner and thinner. It wasn't growing. And now, my hair is, like, back to the way it was when I was in my 20s. Except healthier. Because I have no split ends. Um, I don't have breakage. And it's it's been growing. I mean... Look, look at that. That's a lot of hair for me. But I want to sell Monet. I'm not interested in if you want to sell it or not. Like, that would be great because that would help the person that is above me and I know that she's really trying to make a career out of it so you know that would make me happy on her behalf but that's not what I'm trying to sell to you I'm literally trying to help you with your hair like my niece was going to buy some but she read all the stuff online about it and decided not to buy it even though both her mother and I use it I really want to be able to save up enough money where I can purchase the shampoo conditioner and like the heat protectant or the detangler or something basic that she can do and so she can see that it will help her hair grow because and it will help the thinning she has really bad hair thinning 
So it's like, I really, really want people to know that I'm not trying to get you to be working or selling. I just literally want to help you with your hair journey. But nobody sees that. Nobody wants to give it a chance. So I'm failing at something else. It's, it is what it is at this point, I guess. Okay, so these two baskets were strictly my clothes. Which makes me wonder where Jeremy's clothes is. <laughs> Probably got tired of waiting on me. I wouldn't blame him. I get tired of me too. But low key now I feel bad because Jeremy shouldn't have to do his laundry. It's just another thing I don't have that much control over right now. took me an hour and two minutes that's not bad for you know like three loads of clothes so I now what I need to do oh, cannot get enough water I have a real problem with dehydration and it's my own fault because I just don't drink enough fluids, water. Actually, I just don't drink, period. So, and I love water. That's not a factor. I don't know what my problem is. Anyway, I will catch you later.